Catholics celebrate the month of May with a special devotion to Mary. Many parishes will offer May crownings and other Marian devotions as a way of entering into this Marian life of the Church. So I'd be remiss not to address it in a YouTube video. Now, when it comes to Marian devotions, people often get skeptical because they're afraid that Catholics are giving Mary the worship that's due to God alone. The worship that's due to God alone in the Catholic Church, we call that latria. It's a technical term. But what we offer Mary isn't latria. So we are distinguishing Mary from God, certainly, and we don't honor Mary as if she were God. But rather, the type of praise we give to Mary is called hyperdulia. Now, dulia is the praise that we give to the saints and the angels as being models of a worthy Christian life. For Mary, we call it hyperdulia because it's the model of the perfect Christian life. In many ways, she is the perfect model of what it is to be a Christian. And so just as many young boys might put posters of their favorite athletes who have mastered the art of baseball or football on their walls, Catholics honor Mary as the one who has mastered the art of being a Christian. One of the things that I think points us to why we worship Mary and really allows us to enter into a relationship with her is the Magnificat prayer, which is found in Luke's Gospel. In the Magnificat prayer, Mary says, My soul magnifies the Lord. If we think about a magnifying glass, what does it do? Well, it allows the presence of something to be known to a greater extent. It allows us to see more fully an image. Well, that's what Mary's life does. Her soul magnifies the presence of God in the world. That's why it is that we give her this this hyperdulia, if you will, is because she magnifies God's presence to us. She has a way of making it known to us so that we can see God's presence magnified in the world. Of course, this comes most fully by giving birth to Jesus Christ, but it also comes in the way in which she lives as a disciple of Christ. In the Annunciation, we're told that Mary says, be it done unto me according to your will. See, that's the model of the Christian life, really, is it's submitting our will to the will of God. Let it be done to me according to your will. And because Mary did this to perfection, it wasn't just words for Mary, but the way that she lived out her life was illustrating this to perfection. We offer her this hyperdulia. She is our Tom Brady, if you will, so to speak, in the Catholic life of what it would be to be a quarterback, so to speak. And so we offer Mary this hyperdulia because she magnifies the Lord by saying, let it be done unto me according to your will, by submitting her will fully to his will. The last words that we hear of Mary in the gospel occur at the wedding feast of Cana. They're, do whatever he tells you. You see, that's what a Christian does. A Christian is someone who follows Christ to the T, does whatever he tells us to do. And that's why we honor Mary, because she managed to live that out to perfection. When we honor Mary, our hope is that we too can begin to see Christ more fully, and that we can enter into that proper relationship with him, whereby we submit our wills just as she submitted her will to Christ, and where we can say, I'm ready to do whatever it is that Christ tells me to do, no matter how difficult, how strange, how bizarre it may seem. I'm willing to give my life to Christ because that's what it is to be a Christian. So Mary is the one who can lead us into that Christian life by showing us the way to live that to perfection. And that's why we honor her during this month of May. And I think it's important for us Catholics to look at her and say, I need to end have a relationship with Mary so that I can see Christ magnified and I can enter into a deeper relationship with her son, Jesus Christ. And so I'd encourage all Catholics this month to spend some time in prayer with Mary. Read that wonderful prayer, the Magnificat, or pray the Rosary or enter into some other Marian devotion so that she can lead you to her son and lead you in that proper relationship with Jesus Christ, which is our ultimate goal as Catholics.